Hi, Meeple Watchers! I'm Frank. And I'm Brandon. And in today's video, we are going to show you how to play Patchwork, a two-player puzzle game created by Yui Rosenberg. So we have the board all set up. Really cute, easy game for two players. Yui Rosenberg, the designer, is also the, the same person who created A Feast for Odin, which is at the top of our Want to Play list. We are trying to get a copy of that. And Yui Rosenberg also created uh, Agricola and Caverna, which are some other really popular games out there. So uh, we have played this a few times. As you can see, this is the this is the setup. There's a lot of little pieces going on. The theme of the game is very cute. Players must build their own patchwork quilts, and the goal of the game is to accumulate the most points with your quilt. And you do that by acquiring different different uh, patch pieces of different sizes, assembling them onto your board, and trying to complete as much of your board as possible. So these are different polyomino pieces, which just means geometric uh, pieces of different sizes. And it kind of works like Tetris in a way. You're supposed to just fill in as much as you can uh, and have the most full board by the end of the game. So to play the game, setup is very simple. This is called the time board. So we are actually going to be tracking the course of the game on this board. Uh, the game comes with two different sides to this. So they both have the same exact function. They do not affect gameplay at all. It's just a matter of preference. So we're gonna use this side because it's just a little more colorful and fun. So you just set that up over there. These are our individual quilt boards. So I'm gonna be green, Brandon's gonna be yellow. And here are our time tokens, okay? So you're gonna take your time tokens, you're gonna to put them on the start space on the time board, which is right there. And you are going to put, uh, you'll notice that there are five different uh, special patch uh, areas on this time board. So you're just gonna place those there. When a player does reach that area, they get to take that special patch. And those are really helpful for filling in just little gaps in your board. Okay, uh, all of the different, uh, all the different patches, you just assemble in a circle around the board. And after you do that, you find the one that is the smallest. It's this little one by two patch over here. And wherever that is, you're going to take the neutral token, as this is called, and you're going to place that in between the start patch and the next patch that is clocked that is next clockwise. Okay, so that's gonna start right there. This is how the board is set up. And each player starts out with five buttons. <laughs> so we each have our buttons that we are accumulating to the side. They're uh, adorable. I think I've dropped something in every single game we've done. <laughs> uh, so those are the, the currency of the game and they are worth points. Uh, throughout the game, we'll be accumulating more. So there's some that are five buttons there and there are some that are even stacked uh, with 10, and there's even a 20 button uh, token as well. All right, so the first player is the last person who used a needle. So that's gonna be Brandon. <laughs> and you have two, uh, two things you can do on your turn, you have a choice. The first thing that you can do is you can, and you can choose from one of the three next patches that are ahead of the neutral token, okay? So you're just kind of looking at the board as if it were a clock, and Brandon can choose from one of these three patches down here, okay? So if he wants one of those patches, what he does is he just puts the neutral token in, in front of it, then he's going to take that patch and pay the cost. So on every single patch, there is a tag which has a cost. Okay, and this one, as you can see, costs two buttons. So he's gonna pay the two buttons into the, into the stock of buttons. And then he's going to formulate, he could arrange it however he wants, and he's gonna put it somewhere on his board. Okay, he can start putting it here, he can start in the corner, it's totally his choice. But obviously, you're gonna wanna arrange your quilt in a way where you can fit in as many other pieces on the board. So there is some strategy to it. After he places something on the board, he then advances on the, time, on, the, on the time board. So the way you know how many spaces to advance is based on this icon right here. So this costs two buttons 
and it's going to advance him two spaces on the time board. Okay, so why don't we just play a little bit more and then we'll explain some of the other some of the other rules. Okay, so we're just going to dive in and there are some other little nuances to the rules, but we want to start to at least show you how the game flows. All right, I'm going to take this, get that one, pay four, and do this one. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, good. So it costs four and it's going to advance him six spots on the time board. Which is a lot of spots. It's a lot. So I passed a button, so I then look on my board and how many buttons I have, I take from the button pile. Yep, so some, as you can see, some, or actually most of the, the quilt pieces, uh, the patch pieces rather, have different numbers of buttons on them. Okay, so that adds to the number of buttons you get whenever you pass a button space on the time board. Okay, so Brandon just took his two and he moved ahead six. Now, game gameplay is really interesting in the sense that it's not just a turn order, one person, next person, the other person, the other person. You actually go in order based on the time board, whoever is whoever is uh, behind. So whoever is, is behind the, the, the leading player. So since I am behind Brandon, I'm going to go until I'm ahead of him, and then he would get to go. Okay, so sometimes you can actually go multiple times uh, throughout the game. Now also, something that we didn't share before is this special, This uh, it's called a special tile. As you can see, there's a stack of buttons on it that says seven, and it's, it's a seven by seven icon. So the first player to fill up seven by seven quilt on their board, and by the way, the boards are nine by nine, so if you can fill up seven by seven, you get to take this token that is going to give you seven extra points at the end of the game. And that could really be helpful. That's a lot of points. The, only the first player gets that. All right. So I have two choices right now. One choice is I could choose from the next three patches that are available. So if you look up here on the board, Brandon put his neutral token here. So I'm able to choose from the next three patches, which would be this one, this one, or this one. Or... Instead of choosing a patch, I'm able to advance my token to the next spot ahead of Brandon. So one spot ahead of him. So I could choose to go there, and the rules say that you get one button for every single space that you move forward. So I can choose to go forward, and I'd get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons, which is quite a lot. <laughs> now, unfortunately, if I did that, I wouldn't collect any income because I don't have anything on my quilt yet. So I don't think I'm actually gonna do that. So let's say I have five buttons to spend and I can't afford this one because it's it's cost 10. That is an expensive patch. And really the only one I can afford is right here. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do that. Here you go, right here. It is a cost of five, which is the only five I have starting off. And I'm gonna pay those five buttons and put that on my board, all right. So I think I'm gonna put that over, let's try there, put that there. As you can see, it's gonna give me two buttons whenever I pass one of the button income spaces. So I move ahead five, one, two, three, four, five, which does give me two buttons since I passed the income space. I'm gonna take those two and I get to go again. I get to go again because, oh, thank you. So that's gonna go there. I get to go again because I am right now behind Brandon. Now, if I were to end up getting something that is only one, moving me ahead one in the time spot, I would go on top of Brandon, and whoever is the player that has their token on top gets to go again. So there is an advantage if you can, if you can choose to get a patch that's just going to put you right on top of the other player, it can allow you that extra turn, which could be really helpful. All right, so let's see. I don't have, unfortunately, any that are only one. I'm gonna move me ahead one space. I've got one over here that costs seven. I can't do that. This one costs three. I can't do that. But this one costs one, so I'm gonna take that one. Okay, here we go. Cost one button, and it's gonna be moving me ahead three on the time track. So let's see. Can I squeeze that? I can. I'm gonna actually squeeze that right there. And I move ahead three on the track. So one, two, three. I didn't pass any buttons, so I don't collect income. And it is now Brandon's turn. All right. 
I am going to go here because I only have three left and I'm gonna get that. So here's the one that I got. Tilt it. <laughs> It's pretty well right there. Okay, and you move ahead four spaces. All right, so I am behind Brandon, so I get to go. I'm gonna choose from the next three patches. So let's see, this one cost eight. The start of the game is a little hard because you don't have very many buttons. So I can't afford that, I can't afford the seven, but this only cost me one. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take that one. Here's the piece right here, it cost just one as you can see. And let's see, I can't squeeze that in to cover this spot. If I put that there, well, it puts me in a little bit of a risky spot because I would need to get one of these special square patches, which is risky because the first player to reach those spots gets it. So I could do that if I wanna take a little bit of a risk. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that though. Um, actually, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. It's probably not the best thing, but I'm going to go for it. So that moves me ahead just two. Yep. Yes. One, two. So since I'm on top, I get to go again, but I don't have any. Oh, thank you. That goes there. I don't have any buttons to pay. So I'm going to have to take the other option on my turn, which is to just advance to the next space ahead of the opponent. So that means go right there. I collect one for moving one space up. And since I passed this income spot here, I'm collecting just two buttons because that's what I have on the board. And now Brandon's up. All right, I don't have any buttons, so I am going to move two spaces, <laughs> collect two for moving two spaces, and collect three for having three buttons on my board and passing the button. We are broke right now. <laughs> I've only got three buttons and I have, I'd see this costs five, this costs four, and this costs seven. So I cannot afford any of these. <laughs> my gosh, this is brutal right now. Uh, so I guess my only option is to just move ahead of Brandon. So one, two means I get, I get two buttons for moving ahead two spaces and Brandon's up. All right. Ooh, that's a big one to be covering your board with, that big blue one over this there. This one over here, yeah. that is a big daddy piece, and yeah. It only gives you one button. Um, I am going to pay four to get this one. Nice. Cool, cool. That one, I think I'm gonna put right here. Looking good and then move up to all right well i've got five buttons now and it looks like i'm gonna go right here i'm gonna spend three for this piece one two three spending up my buttons and i am going to let's see i guess i'm just gonna throw that right in there it moves me up one and i get to go again so with my two buttons i think i'll do what i said Take the next one, all right. It does kind of fit nicely there, yeah? So let's do that. And I move ahead two, because there is a timer of two. So green goes one, two, and Brandon's up. I only have one button, which would allow me to get that one, Ooh. but I don't want that one because it doesn't have a button on it. So I wouldn't get anything for it, just covered space. And right now, I don't know exactly if they could, yeah. So they could kind of see, this is the one that Brandon's saying that he's not really liking. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And it would cover a lot of space, but not give me buttons. Um, and I'm gonna pass on that one. So what I'm gonna do is just move one, two, three, get three for moving up three, and then get four for passing the button mark on the time. 
I'm telling you to loosen up my buttons, yeah. babe. <laughs> that one keeps going in my head too every time we say it, but I didn't sing it. <laughs> that, key, that just reminded me of that. All right, so I'm up. I have no buttons. Uh, and that means I'm going to move up one, two, take the two for advancing, and I get only two for my income. I don't have a lot of income flowing into me right now because there's only two buttons on my quilt. So I get four, and it's Brandon's turn. All right. So I see that big plus has two buttons on it. I am going to be taking this one. It costs five. Four, five, and then I'm going to put this, I think, right there. And then I move up four. One, two, three, four. Yep, and then your yeah. timer token goes over here. All right, so I have got some choices. I have four, four buttons to spend. Hmm, oh, that one costs ten right there. Yikes, 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 yikes. Hmm. I think, oh, I'm not really loving any of these options right now. I think I'm actually just going to take some money. One, two, three, four. I'll take a five and put back one. This one only costs one? That's a good price. But I don't, oh, I see where I could put it. I'm going to go ahead and take that. So I'm going to pay one, take that. Put that right here. Okay. And I move up four. One, two, three, four. And then I get paid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. All right. So I'm making some buttons. I <laughs> am not making some buttons, so I'm going to look out for that. Let's see. That one costs 10, which is too much. This one is free, huh? It's the only free one <laughs> on here. Well, if it's free, it's for me right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll show them that this one right here, I'm gonna put the time token right there. It is free. It's a cross shape. It just is gonna move me up three spots on the time board. Okay. So let's see that one. Yeah. Oh, that actually fits in pretty well right there. And I move up three for time board, right? One, two, three. I passed an income, so I get three more little buttons. I'll just take a five and put back two. got 10 buttons now. All right. So here's where we are right over here. I can choose any of the following three. Ooh. And I just realized that moving ahead is going to give me that special piece right here. Oh, perfect. Because <laughs> that's the risk I took there. So I could spend, ooh, that H shape is looking pretty good, but I realize I really need the more buttons. Brandon keeps taking the buttons. <laughs> I keep paying for the buttons. Yeah, <laughs> and getting them. So, okay, that's that one could maybe go there. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to spend three, five, get back two. Uh, okay, I'm going to put that maybe right there. And I go ahead, two, one, two. Oops, actually it's one, two. So I get this. Once you get a special, a little special patch, you immediately must place it somewhere on your board. Okay, so I'm of course gonna fill in that spot. And this piece goes here, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Sometimes like you don't really need that one piece, so I always try to hold off unless I really needed it. He really needed it, so I did. Yes. And the other thing that I noticed. I don't know if we told you, when he put this down, he flipped it. So you yeah. could put it either side, whatever yeah. side works best for you. 
All right. I think, ooh, this one has two buttons. <laughs> and it only costs three. And I see a beautiful place to put it. So I'm going to pay three buttons. And I'm going to put it right here. Oh, that is great for you. Nice. And I move up six. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I get income. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons. So I'm going to take a 10 and take give back one. Oh, that is good. All right, I've got eight buttons to spend. And remember, your buttons are your points at the end of the game. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to take this square. It's got two buttons. It's six. It costs six, but yeah, I think that's a beautiful one. So I'm just going to put that right there. And I move ahead five. So one, two, three. <laughs> four is that another special patch yep it is five all right so i've got to immediately place this and i passed an income a button space so i'm going to put that right there that just makes the most sense and let's see how much income do i get one two three four five six i'll take six buttons all right usually you get all the special patches <laughs> yeah i haven't needed them so i, I want to want to Oh, thank you for Please leaving them for me. Sweet. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm going to get that one. Spend two. There's five. Get three back. And here's the one I'm getting. And I'm going to put this one right here. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a good one. And move up three. Wow, okay. This one <laughs> is so interesting. The shape of this one right here. That could be tricky. Cost 10. Um, let's see, so I get to choose from those. Well, if I do this one, I feel like this, ooh, that does fit pretty nicely in there, but I it could also. Yeah, I, <laughs> one game I kind of set myself up for failure when I put the piece there and I left this whole bottom row. Okay, hmm. So part of the strategy is you're looking ahead to see like what what patches are left uh, and what could you actually fill up your board with, right? Like if I put that there, then, I mean, there are some patches that could be helpful, but it's taking a chance. Hopefully Brandon doesn't get them or that the neutral token lines up in a space that'll allow me to get them. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. So that just costs, oh, that costs seven. Yeah. That is an expensive one. Seven's going in, and I only move up one. Wow. So since I'm, I am behind, I get to go again. I have one button. <laughs> Can't afford anything right now, so I'm just going to move ahead. One, two. Take two for that. And I passed an income space. Two, four, six, seven. So five, six, seven. And Brandon's up. All right, I really like that 10 one. You're gonna get it? And I see a really nice place. I'm just gonna see how it fit. Ooh. Which leaves me those two, which there's only ooh, one out there for me to get. You have 10? You could afford that? Yeah. Whoa! I'm gonna get it. So Loaded. Here's 10, and I am going to be putting it right there. Very nice. And that moves me up four. One, two, three, and four. You got a special one. Got my special one. And now, <laughs> I put it here and risk Getting having out. to get another one of those, or do I wait and get that one? Mm, because he could always sneak it from me so that I can't. Sneaker, sneaker. Sneaker, sneaker. <laughs> There's two chances here. Ugh. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. Yeah, nice. And then I pass the button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whoa! Raking it in now. Yeah. The beginning of the game, it's hard to do much when you don't have buttons on your board, but now, now we're gonna start making good button income. <laughs> okay, so I I'm really liking this one. It's another ten. Oh, it's expensive. This one right here. But it's gonna give me three buttons. 
and I think it just fits really nicely over here. I like that. Yeah, so I'm spending the 10 that I have. It moves me up five. That was here, that goes here now. All right, so I move up one, two, three, four, five. Ah, just short of an income, that stinks. And you're up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one. It costs eight. There's ten. Two back. Wow, there's three buttons on that one. Three buttons on that one. And I was kind of happy to get this one. <laughs> I could put it there. And I move up six. I'm going to get my next. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay. Nice. And I passed a button. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so I don't think any of us have gotten the seven by seven yet, huh? No. No, okay. It's not quite there. I don't even need six. Yeah. Patches. Do I just, You're pretty close too. What do I need? Four? Yeah, yeah you need four. I need okay, six. So okay. neck and neck here. Pretty much. Well I have no buttons though. <laughs> but you are quite far ahead of me, so this will be a good turn to just get a bunch of money. So one, two, three, four, five. So I get five plus uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I get 15. Nice. Yep. Okay. Um, I like that one that's worth seven. So I'm going to pay seven to get this one. Because out of the six, this is going to cover up Whoa. four of them. All right. And then I move up only two. One, two. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so I really like this one right here. It costs four. And I like it because it just beautifully fits in right there. So I'm going to spend my four. And it moves me up two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Boop. Since I passed a button space, I get to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it is Brandon's turn. I'm going to pay ten. Whoa! <laughs> to get this one so that I can put it right here. Okay. And then I move up three, one, two, three, and I pass a payday. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, that is insane. Did you take it from here? Yeah. Okay. So Brandon just got 20 buttons. Notice that we don't have a lot of, of patches left and the game's almost over because once both players get into the center, then the game stops. So I really want to just fill something up right here because it's the last thing I'll need, right? For my seven by seven. Yeah. Okay. It always gets it right before me. <laughs> I feel like you've gotten it, no? All right, well this, let's see, does this one even fit? No. Uh, this is a wonky spot piece right here i mean it kind of now at this point i'm just thinking how can i fill up the most spaces oh yeah because it's negative points if you have any open yeah. spaces yeah i think i'm gonna ugh. Jeez, i think this is the only one i can do can i do any of them oh yeah that's the only one that's gonna give me the last piece so i'm gonna do it just so i can get it so <laughs> sorry boo five it costs five, I'm gonna put in, cost two, I'm gonna put in five though to get three back. It only moves me up one space. I get to go again. Oh, and I take this, yes, ta-da! <laughs> so I'll just put that to the side. Um, all right, well, 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 well. I've got, ooh, this is only a cost of one, but it's gonna move me up five, one, Two, three, four, five. So that would be my last turn, right? Yeah. I'm going to lose a lot of points. Oh, gosh. I feel that this game is kind of brutal. <laughs> I do. Just what? I mean, I'm going to lose a ton of points with that. 
I would be done. If I take the three, then it would be one, two, three. I would at least get to take another turn, right? And I would mm -hmm. get an extra button. I feel like I need to do that. So I'm gonna take this for three. One, two, three. And where is that gonna shimmy itself in? Well, I'm looking at the remaining pieces and I'm gonna put that right there. Yikes. Ugh, so I move up three. One, two, three. I take the special patch. I'm gonna put the special patch there. And I'm, I'm done. All right. Well, now I just wanna fill up stuff too. <laughs> like this one would fit really nice here. Ooh, yeah. But then I'd be done. If I, I... get this one, I'm only moving up one space, so I will at least have another turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna spend two to get that one, and I'm just gonna put it here. Yeah. You moved up one? Oh, yeah. All right, well, I've only got... Two. Yeah. Well, if I take this one, it's gonna move me up two. So basically, this is my last turn no matter what. Yeah. I guess, ooh, can I afford, can this one even fit? Yes. Mm -hmm. I might as well spend what's gonna give me the most, cover the most spaces and get me the most button, right? Yes. This would give me four spaces, one, two, this would give a lot more. So we'll do 10, I'll take back three. And I guess this is just gonna plop right there. Doesn't really matter. I move up four. So I take my last uh, payday, button payday of the game. Let's see what that gives me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'll take 13. Hmm, it's my turn. I have a choice of this one, which can go there. It costs me seven, but it's only gonna cover four, mm -hmm. but I'll have three more of these. Three more buttons. Three more buttons, and I'm gonna get a payday. So at least get my seven back. That's true. There's this one, it only costs one to move me up two, and I could actually go again if I could find a place to put it. I don't know. But <laughs> I don't think I'm putting this anywhere. Oh, one short of yeah, putting that in. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Ah. So I'll just put in the seven, I guess, to get the seven back. This one? Yeah. Alright, so this is seven. Brandon's last piece. Seven, and this just goes here. I move up six, which is all the way over, and a pay button. Oh day. my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. See, I think Brandon won because of this insane amount of buttons he got during the paydays. But we'll see, I did get the seven point bonus. So now the game is over. We are both in the final space on the time board. And let's just go ahead and start. So how about, I'll do my mine first. Okay. So I've got, let's see. I've got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 plus seven is 29. And then you lose two points for every open space. So 29 becomes, uh, 29 becomes 27, 25, 23, 21, 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, nine. I only ended up with nine points. So let's see, why don't you dump out on the table how much you got? Oh gosh. 20, 30, 43 points. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 43 minus 30? 13. 13. Thir 9. The final score, 9 to 13. You are the patchwork king. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> so that's patchwork. Uh, uh, what are your final thoughts about this game? I like patchwork. It is fun. It's easy to get a hang of. Um, it's a quick game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of those things that if you have somebody over that 
they're not really into tabletop games, this could be a good segue to get them into them. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a light, easy game. And compared to other two-player games, such as uh, such as Lost Cities, such as uh, Jaipur, I definitely prefer the other two to this. This is a game that I am not too crazy about. When I Every time I finish this game, I just kind of am like, eh, like it was all right. <laughs> the theme is very cute. The theme is adorable. Uh, it's it, it could be a nice game to play as a as a couple, you know, if you're just looking to have some some fun and something quick, you know, usually takes us half hour or less. Yeah, it's a quickie. Play. A little quickie. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes a quickie is fun. <laughs> so the, it, it also reminds me of Isle of Cats. Yeah, the Isle of Cats, which is another game where you have to figure put these polyomino pieces together. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that video coming soon. We both really enjoyed that game. So thanks for tuning in for our video on Patchwork. Uh, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more updates about future game tutorial videos as we post them. Comment below as well what you would like us to play next. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. -bye. Uh. <laughs>